this thing is uh, definitely on here. So if you're worried about it going anywhere, don't. <laughs> so. What we're gonna take a look at here will be the uh, Stubby Nozzle from Stubby Nozzle Company. Um, they are based actually here in Georgia, which I found out recently. And um, the seller is on Etsy. I picked this up or purchased it a couple weeks ago and it came in uh, yesterday, uh, which I was excited about because this offers a few different things that uh, you don't get from the standard nozzle that comes with these. So um, I'm actually gonna grab the other nozzle so you can kind of see what the difference is. So as you can see here, we have the standard nozzle here and then we have the shorty nozzle. So as you can see, there is a huge difference in length. And what this will do is help prevent you from hitting the vehicle while drying it. Um, it allows you to get a little bit closer as well. Um, so it just makes the overall experience just much better um, using the blower without this long nozzle on it. Um, it almost reminds me of like uh, during COVID when they were sticking the Q-tip up your nose, almost touching your brain, trying to get whatever they were getting. Um, <laughs> this reminds me of that. But um, we're gonna take a look at this here in just a moment. I'm actually gonna be using the foam cannon. So when we go to dry the vehicle, we'll be able to see this in action. This thing is on here tight. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm actually gonna get this off. I, you have to squeeze it in some kind of way to do it. But if you're worried about this thing coming off while using it, don't worry about that because it is not coming off. All right, just to piggyback off of what we're talking about here, uh, I want to make this short clip just to clarify a couple of things. So with this particular nozzle, you don't see a physical button on the outside to release this. Uh, the way you actually do that is, is pretty clever. So what you do is you squeeze on the top and the bottom here and you just wiggle it just a little bit. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get that off, but just keep squeezing. And what you want to do is kind of push that out as you're as you're squeezing is just take notice of that. So this thing is uh, definitely on here. So if you're worried about it going anywhere, don't. <laughs> so, all right, so we got that off. So um, the reason for that is there's actually a, a built in catch inside of this uh, tube here where this um, button area would be just like on the factory side. So this actually kind of catches right onto this little notch here, uh, preventing it from sliding off. So um, it, is, it is definitely on there. I uh, haven't had any issues with it moving or anything like that. Um, so you have that there and you also have like a, another smaller little groove right here, a little, little protrusion, little notch area that will actually kind of catch right onto the back side of this area here. So um, that's some pretty thoughtful design here because uh, a lot of people are probably wondering, well, how does it stay secure? There's no button or no, no, no latch or anything on the outside of this. Uh, so that's kind of how that stays on. Let me bring this to the camera a little closer here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So if we look at this here, you can see there's a little step right here and that's where that uh, latches onto the, to the notch there. And if we turn this around, we'll see the second protrusion there for that. So um, some pretty clever design elements to help keep this thing in place. Um, pretty cool design. And yeah, I really like it. I love using it now. Um, it's much easier to use now, the shortened design. Now, if only um, Ego could figure out how to make a lighter weight battery, the world will be right. Anybody that has ever used an Ego blower knows these batteries are quite heavy. Now with the longer nozzle on here, um, it does add a little bit of weight to the front. So it's not as bad as if you were using the shorty nozzle here, but these batteries can be heavy. And as you can see, it doesn't quite sit level. Now you can get it to sit there. If you bump into it by accident, it's definitely gonna fall back. Now. One of the things I had been thinking about was how could they improve this design? Um, so I know they have a new 765 CFM out now. This is the 650 CFM. But one of the things I was thinking about is possibly taking the battery and instead of running it horizontal like that, maybe running it vertically. 
and, and shortening this back in here so it brings more of that weight uh, to the center of this for better control. Uh, I'm not sure how that would, how that would work. Um, I'm not an engineer by any means, so um, I don't know how well that would work or if, that, if they've even thought of that design. Um, and then, you know, these batteries are fairly hefty. So, you know, I'm hoping as battery tech improves that we get some smaller, lighter um, batteries to go with these uh, tools like this. So that's just one of the elements that I would kind of think about. The other thing is, um, if you're going to be using this for any yard work or anything, keep in mind that de depending on what you're doing, leaves and stuff will get sucked into this area. Um, so I did notice that because I was using this for a bit just to blow the driveway down um, and it did suck up some debris in this area so uh, just keep that in mind and take some compressed air and just blow that out um, when you get a chance because if you do use, use this for dual purpose for lawn care and drying off your vehicle you don't want anything that's trapped in there to be launched out the end of this onto your car uh, so just keep that in mind as well um, other than that, it's been pretty flawless, haven't had any issues, well, with the exception of the battery kind of uh, glitching every now and then. And this is one of the newer style batteries. I did see um, online that there were a few people that had some issues out of the older style um, with it either not charging or the uh, control board inside going bad. But I haven't had any issues for about a couple months now. so. Uh, I'll continue to monitor it. The battery is still under warranty. Um, I believe these batteries have a three-year warranty on them, so um, we'll see how well it, they hold up. Again, with that said, this thing has been great. Um, outside of that, it has worked very well, and it, you know, it feels, it still feels pretty good. Um, it would, like, again, it would be nice to kind of have a lot of the controls a little more centralized and the weight a little more centralized. So, you know, the ideal setup would, would be to make this not necessarily the, the, the nozzle shorter, but the kind of this back section a little bit shorter uh, just to bring everything in. I think that would be a little more um, easier to kind of work with and it would take a, a lot of the fatigue out of using this for a, a little while. Um, on these batteries, I believe in turbo mode, uh, I wanna say it's a 15 minute runtime on it with turbo engage, I'll have to clarify that. Um, but again, that, you know, that's probably why these batteries are so large so you can get the maximum out of it. Um, but you know, again, as we see uh, battery tech improving, maybe that will improve, maybe the slight design will improve on these as well, um, but we will see. So thank you for watching please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, if you have any ideas of what the next model or generation of these should look like or what features they should have, uh, let's discuss that below. I'd love to hear uh, your comments on that. And, and maybe Ego is watching and listening. Um, so maybe they can take some of your design ideas or mine and put them into place on the next model. Well, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.